Hey guys, this is Jared from Transformational Coaching, Action is Transformation. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna get into how to create abundance in your life, whether it's monetarily, whether it's in relationships, whatever area of your life you want to increase in, you can increase it. You just have to place some focus. Remember, wherever our focus goes, energy goes, energy flows, and that thing grows, okay? I'm gonna say that one more time just to make sure that everyone got it. Wherever our focus goes, energy flows and wherever energy flows that's what grows so whatever it is that you feel like you're lacking in your life well look around you look around in your environment and see what do I, what do i need to do uh who do i need to be what do i need to create within myself to go get that thing and to make that thing more abundant in my own life Everything is out there in the world. It's all out there. Anything you could ever want is out there. It's just a matter of willing to go get it. So I'm gonna share with you three key things that I learn and that I apply to my, da my daily life more and more that help me to create more abundance in my life, whether it's more love, more affection, more time, more energy, more money, whatever it is that you want, follow these three principles and you're gonna get somewhere. Number one, slow down, slow everything down. Slow everything about your life down. Try, stop trying to make everything happen at once, slow down. For me, getting clear and getting focused was about slowing down. If we're trying to move too fast, it's because we have so many thoughts. If we have so many thoughts, it's because we're trying to do too much. So slow down everything in your life and see what it is that's gonna allow you to get clear and focused so you can create what it is that you wanna create. If you wanna create abundance in one area of your life, you have to go slow enough to see, okay, here's my thoughts, these are what my thoughts are feeding me, follow those thoughts, and then hear what they have to say and share with you because there's wisdom and intuition there. So first, slow everything down in your life. Guys, we've been conditioned by society to move really, really quickly. Everything in capitalism says that there's a shortage of everything. There's a shortage of jobs. There's a shortage of customers, of clients. Businesses are shutting down. Look. There's so much abundance out there in the world, okay? So don't worry about it. Whatever you could ever want is already out there in the world. You just have to be willing to go get it. Be willing to educate yourself, asking yourself the right questions. How do I do this? What do I need to do to go out there and get it? So just tap into your own tuition, slow down, hear what your thoughts are saying, and then listen to those thoughts and try some new things in your life. Recognize that you do have time, you do have energy, and that it's just up to you to step up and take those actions, be willing to get educated, be willing to reach out to the right people to make it happen. That's what really changed my life. When I was open to support, when I was open to when I was open to willing to reach out to people who had already walked that path before me, then I felt a lot better about walking that path. You don't have to walk the path alone. All right. I, I used to think that I'd have to walk all these paths alone, but now I realize that there's mentors, that there's coaches out there, there's people out there who will help you get to where you need to go, but you're not going to look for those things until you slow down. So make sure you slow down first. Look out what that look out for what's out there in the environment and then get whatever help you need and support you need to make things happen. Number two, build a system. What does it mean to build a system? Build a system of abundance, whatever that looks like to you, right? So build a system that allows you to create money or create abundance in your life for whatever that is, whether it's love, whether it's affection, whatever it is that you feel like you're missing, it's out there in the world. You just need to recognize and build a system that allows it to come to you. So for instance, in my own online work, I do work online with individuals and have clients from all around the world. I built a system. I made YouTube videos, I did social media marketing, I did all these different things to help put my service out there because that's how I want to show up in the world. So in the in the marketing or in the business industry, you call this a sales funnel. What we call it here is we call it a service funnel. I call it a service funnel. How I want to show up in the world and how I want to change and transform people's lives and be recompensated for it is my service funnel. So I, I send out videos, I have a system in place online with the website, with all this other stuff that allows people to connect with me and then they connect with me and then we do the work together. So build yourself a system. You know, let's say you're short on love or you're short on support, emotional support. Well, where can you get emotional support? Look out for your environment. Where can you get emotional support? What do you need to learn to do to get the emotional support that you know you need to make your life happen? So for instance, let's say you have a lack of that. Well, 
you can call a therapist or you can talk to some friends. Uh, you can go to meetups, meet with other people, start making connections with people, start putting yourself out there in the world more and getting that type of emotional support that you feel like you need to create a better life for yourself. A lot of people find themselves getting worried or anxious because they think that there's a lack of something. So for instance, they're like, well, I need to learn how to make money, but I don't know how. Well, create a system that works for you that allows you to make money. And then once you have that, you're not going to have that worry and anxiety of, am I going to be able to make enough money or not? It's the same thing when it comes to support or maybe food or anything else in your life that you might be afraid of. A lot of people are afraid of not having enough love, support, and attention. Well, start reaching out. Start reaching out to people. Start building those systems in place. Okay, I'm going to go to a meetup three times a week and meet people who are like me and interested in the same things that I like. And then so I can feel that sense of connection and fulfillment. So whatever it is that you want to create out in within yourself or you feel like is lacking within yourself, create a system for it. When you create that system for yourself, then you're not going to be worried or have anxiety around that thing anymore because you created a system that brings that energy in, whatever that is. Number three, make and create relationships. What do I mean by that? reach out to people. You can make relationships by going out to new places, meeting people, but you can also create relationships. You can create a relationship with anyone you want. It's just a matter of how you choose to show up. A lot of people think that they can't create relationships. They think that a relationship is something that just happens yes or no, or they vibe with another person or they don't. That's not true. You can vibe, vibe with anyone that you want. If you truly learn to set aside your own ego and your own self and you open up to them, then you can connect with them any way possible. You know, whenever I, whenever a person reaches out to me, I see what's going on in the world and I put myself to the side. I empty myself, I let go of my desires and my wants and I just choose to see that person. And when I empty myself, I really connect with that person. So create relationships in your life. Some people can be afraid of the world. Some people can be afraid of intimacy. That's what it means. Intimacy means to be open and to be vulnerable with the world. So go out there and create relationships. Put your own ego aside. See other people for what they are and, 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 and connect with them in that level. And when you connect with them on that level, then you're able to create that relationship. What creates a satisfying relationship has so much more than just we like the same things or we have these same interests. You create it. It's about how you show up each and every day. You create it by how you choose to be with that person. You create it by what you say, what you do, what you think when you're with that person. Your relationship is a transfer, is a, is a flow of energy back and forth around thoughts, around emotions, feelings, and actions and behaviors. And so if you want to have a particular relationship, maybe it's a friendship, maybe it's a romantic relationship, whatever it is, then show up in the relationship in a certain way that will allow you to get the outcome that you desire. You can create relationships. People don't think that that's possible. It definitely is, but it comes, the responsibility, the ability is on you, right? When I talk about responsibility, I mean your ability to respond to a situation. So if you want a particular relationship in your life, then slow down, look at how, what you want out of that relationship, and then go and create it. Show up however you need to show up to make that relationship happen for you. We do this unconsciously all the time, right? Women put on makeup, and maybe some men put on makeup. Uh, we dress nice, we look nice, right, to attract a mate. So just be more aware of how you show up, choose to show up in life, and connect with that other person. Make it a conscious process. So create conscious relationships. Guys, that's all I got for this time. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me and connect with me. I wish you all the best. I'll see you on the flip side.